The lady next to me snitches on the security police. They grab me, they say, sir, come with me. I said, I'm going to jail. We just filter ourselves out. Who Depends thinks the same? I was not thinking that. No. Yet. The son, you never know. Our boy, do you think you're Stop. born? Stop. What's up, brother? Tuesday, Tuesday. Hope everyone's having a blessed day today. Special podcast for some special people. Welcome back to the It Is What It Is podcast. I'm here with my co-host, a.k.a. my brother, a.k.a. the goat. The goat. <laughs> the goat. Uh, he has a got to. That's weird. Uh, Nicholas Ming Ireland, addressing him by his government okay, name. Okay. Damn, government? And then we have DJ Fabian Garcia Jr. Whoa, dude, what the government? Yes. And we also are here with Richard Win Ireland, my middle name, if you guys didn't know, is Win, because all I do is win. Or, and uh, if you couldn't tell, I've been watching a lot of sketch Tuesday, Tuesday. It's actually Thursday if you're watching this. But uh, blessed day. Dude, I'm in a great mood. How are you, bro? You know, I'm doing pretty solid. I'm doing pretty good. I missed you guys, man. We're going, I was gone for a minute. Gone for a minute, but he's back now. And um, I want you guys to comment down below. How are you guys doing? And genuinely... Take a moment to write out how you feel. Don't just say it's good. I mean, if it's good, then just say it's good. But like, if you're if you're going through something, get your feelings out in the comments, and maybe you all have a little group, mm -hmm. little discussion down there. Maybe someone else is going through the same thing. You guys can connect. You never know. Connection, man. It's all about connection. Life is about connection. Tuesday. But no, just uh, well, yeah. Welcome back to another podcast. I was sick last week. That's why we didn't post. Very sick. Yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm always sick, but. <laughs> yeah, and we didn't, yeah, we don't jeopardize our health, you know? Health is very important. Mm, yes, it's health is number one, because imagine a life without being healthy. Yeah. You can't do anything. Your parent, the thing, listen to your parents out there. If you're lucky enough to have parents, listen to them, because um, they'll tell you these things, and you'll be like, oh, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But then as you grow up, you're like, man, they're right. They were on to something. Yeah. Not always right. Not always. I'm always right, but. <laughs> All right, Sketch. All right, dude. I'm, I don't even care if I, I might talk like that for the rest of the pod. It's so fun. But we're going to get straight, and we haven't done one of these in a minute. We're getting straight into a fan question. Ooh. Straight into it, because you know why? Why? Because you guys are the reason we're able to do this. So let's just answer your guys' questions. This one coming in from Jamari the Drip King. Oh. So you got a little inspiration from me, brother. Um, IBP, can you answer this question on your next pod? We can. Um, this girl keeps on blocking and unblocking me on IG. Oh, fudge, buddy. I don't get why she keeps doing this. Parentheses. We don't even text. We met when we were like around five. And I'm 18 now. What? 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 I hope really? she's 18 too, brother. She better be. Um... <laughs> And it's just weird. What do you guys think? First off, a lot of questions right off the bat. Um, has she been unblocking you and blocking you since five? That's crazy if that's true. How does a five-year... Uh, uh, I'm going to make some assumptions. Yeah. We have to make some assumptions ahead, here. Ahead, they don't ahead. even talk, you said, right? Yeah. They don't even talk. We don't text. She keeps on blocking me and blocking me. First off, I'll say this, brother. I think I know why. You go first. No, no. Okay, you I, want me to go first? I, I, um, let's hear what you have to say, I, I'll say this. Brother. Just wait till Tuesday. Tuesday. Um, no, uh, what I would really say about that is like the fact that she's un unblocked. First off, you're checking, so. Yeah. I was just, I was just <laughs> I was about to say, say how that. How do you know? Because it like, doesn't tell you like, oh, this person blocked yeah. you. And you send a message, it's blue and then green. Blue, green. Unblock and block. This is what I'll say. She's thinking about you. So that's a good sign. If she didn't care, she just would leave you blocked or just leave you unblocked. She's going back and forth. She's debating something in her mind. I don't know what it is. She's clearly debating something. Maybe it's friend zone. Maybe it's, do you like her? That's another factor. That's, a, that's another factor. That's a big factor. Does she have a boyfriend is a big factor, I would say, because yep. this is what it might be. Maybe boyfriend is a little intimidated by the drip king. I mean, who wouldn't be? Am I right? It's facts. You know, but he sees you got the drip. He sees that she follows you, and then he sees you come up on her timeline, and he's like, babe, no. Like, why are you following the mm. drip king like that, you know? Mm -hmm. drip king. Block him. Block him. Block him. And she's like, oh, babe, I will block him for you. And, and then, you know, they get in a little fight. Unblock. 
Drip King back dangerous, on the Dangerous, 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 dangerous. <clears throat> uh, Mr. Drip King, uh, on my behalf, I would say uh, something you don't get back in time is time. So uh, if she's playing these games, brother, mm. continue on with your journey. Mm. More fish in the ocean, mm. more things to focus on. Mm. If she's playing these game mm. games, games, just mm. continue on and focus on yourself, Mr. King. Something you don't get back in time is time. What a quote from DJ Fab. Often you don't make sense, but that, brother, <laughs> made a lot of sense. That was a great quote. That was good. Wow. It's so true, though. So if you want to waste your time, go ahead and uh, keep on checking on her. But if you guys don't even talk, why do you care, brother? Yep. Mm, takes, Ask yourself why. It takes two to break a heart in it, too. Mm, it's, it's scary, though, because if they had, she had a boyfriend and they argue and then they unblock. That's but I mean, scary. man. But do you a, care? Do you even want to be? If no. you're trying to, it depends. It depends the end goal too. You know, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. what's if the end goal? If you're just trying to have a good time, if you're just hang trying out, to vibe today, if you're just trying to vibe today, <laughs> if you're just trying to vibe for a little bit, you know, here and there, catch a little vibe every now and then. With but the shoddy, let me ask. Let me then. ask. Is the would the drip god be wrong to text her if she has a boyfriend? Mm, he, maybe he's saving her, her, the guy time. If the, but also, like, do you even want to be with a girl like that? Because the way that you win them is the way that you can lose them. If you win a girl because you just have a bunch of money, another guy comes around and he has more money, she's gone. She could be gone. Yeah. But it's not always that way. It shows way. you that, it, that she's like that. It shows you. Yeah. She will show you who she is with how she acts. But it is up to you to see it. Oh. All the signs will be right in front of you, but... Some choose to ignore those red flags, brother. Mm. Yeah, those red flags, bro. They be the small people don't. People this is don't what I'll, Oh, you know, I think we got to, I might just go right into the motivational segment too because it kind of leads into this. It could kind of lead into this. Also, guys, if you have a fan question, comment down below for the next podcast. That was a really good one. Maybe leave a little more detail. Mm. So, a little, we can, so we can really analyze the yeah. situation to mm-hmm. the fullest, you know? Yeah, that was good though, but... It can be better. Um, give us more detail so we can give you more detail. Um, this is the motivational segment of the day. Curiosity deepens the connection. Bro, didn't you say this last week? Did I say it last week? You said it last oh, week. Last week. I wanted did. to hear you talk about it. Oh. Well, well, not last week, the week before, because we didn't film one last week, but the week before, you, I definitely heard that quote before. Yeah. Uh. Sitting in this chair. Oh, all right, well, I have another one. Okay. I always stay ready. Stay ready, Shannon. Get ready. That's yes, crazy. brother. Um, uh, he was so hyped for this. He was so hyped. He, and he, NC, he, he acted like. And, and, yeah, and NCK said, Psh, there goes your dream. Um, oh. What to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> to you, my friend, I would, you have to ask this. Our whole lives, our whole lives. From the moment we're born, we're connected with our mother, right? Yep. This is, this is, no, see where I'm going. Wait. I'm listening. It's going to make sense. I'm we're listening. connected with our mother. Here we're literally, literally, literally. We are literally umbilical connected with cord, her. Umbilical mm. cord. Umbilical cord. We are connected with our mother. From the moment that is cut, the rest of our lives, we seek connection. We seek to, to whether it be with friends, whether it be in a relationship, whether it be with trying to... Uh, show your dad that you're pr- he's proud of you. Yeah. Whatever it is, everything we do is to connect. From the moment we're snipped, boom, we always try to seek that, whether it be with our friends, our family, and it's just an interesting, uh, it's an interesting thing. Human connection is the most sought after thing. Take, say you had a hundred billion dollars. I always go through this scenario in my head. Say you had a hundred billion dollars, and you had all the Ferraris, all the Lamborghinis in the world. But you had no one to share it with. It would be cool for a, for a, for a day, and then it would be like GTA on unlimited mode, and then you don't talk to anyone. Yeah, you know, it could be. It could also be the way the world is like perceptive. Like, right? What's the end goal? Fall in love, have a family, make make money, have a good job. Right? That's what. That's what society tells. That's you. what society is telling us, right? And it's like at the end of the day. Somebody could be okay living in their car, traveling the world, or a Theo Goff living in a bus, the minimum. And it's like, what, what is, where's the rule book? What is, what is the right path to follow? And it's like, 
I think some people follow that connection and because that's what they're taught. That's what they're supposed to be. Like my grandma always told me that I need to marry a woman that cooks and cleans. Otherwise, I'm going to be lonely and heartbroken. And it's like, what if I didn't want that grandma? You know what I'm saying? So it's Yeah, like, that's an interesting... You know, what you're saying is, is true, but I'm more focusing on... Uh, very true, actually. But what I'm f- more focusing on is the connection aspect. Like, we all... Everything we do, everything we say is to connect with some with someone. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you meet another guy or another girl, or whatever, you try to, like, find similarities or, or ways to relate. And, like, even some people will lie. Like, people have lied to be able to connect. They'll be like, oh, yo, bro, this is so... You're so lit. They'll just say the most hypest thing right away just to connect, even if they don't think you're lit. I don't know. It's, just, it's, just, it's, just, it's not even a, this isn't even a motivational quote. It's just kind of a statement. Just a little statement about life. But, it, you know, you start with that connection with the mother, and then it's the life cycle. Then you try and find that connection, and then it restarts over again, brother. And then you connect with another one and create more. But that's a, I mean. But, Yeah. But it's interesting, though, because the percentage of people not getting married nowadays is on the rise. Mm. Is on the rise. Dang. What's the percentage now? Um, I just looked it up. And uh, apparently it says, since 1970, the percentage of never married midlife adults increased to 16.8. So I guess before then it was even lower. But then in the mid-2000s, it started increasing. And now in 2021, (coughs) when this research was done, it is at about... 29.1%. Twenty nine point one percent. So I think people it, are getting married later, later in life too. Yeah, it's happening. It people are getting married in le- later in life, and it's. But this is another thing that I was thinking about with my friends the other day. It's also you try to create all this connection, and then when you're so connected with someone, you almost get to that point where you don't even need to speak anymore. Like, how do you create connection with speaking? Right, mm-hmm. like True. talking about this and that. But when you get close enough with someone. I'm sure you guys can relate at home when you're with your best friend or something. You guys could sit in a room and not talk and it'd be normal. And it'd be a great time. Right? It'd be, yeah, it'd be great times. As a, the communication is very important. And the chemistry, I think that mm. is a, mm. another big thing. Is Which we, we have a lot of. The chemistry. All, we, all of us, I would say. Oh, for sure. We could honestly sit in a room for an hour and know what we're thinking or where we could go next and kind of figure out like, all right, NCK is thinking about this. But that's a, (laughs) it's just a, it's just an interesting uh, era we live in, bro. People don't, I used to, I used to not want to, I didn't believe in marriage at all. Really? I really thought that marriage was only for the females, right? What what, what do you mean by that? Let me explain. So marriage to me, I thought it was just a reason for a female to get a man's last name, a a nice expensive ring and possibly steal the man's money at the end of divorce. Right. Because it's like, why does that justify you being in love with me? Marriage doesn't, it's a piece of paper, right? Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, you go to, you go to a court office and then they marry you. You get the woman gets the last name. You buy a ring. The man buys the ring. The woman gives the guy usually a little rubber band. Mm -hmm. And that's just like, that that was like my take on it. Like it was like, what changed your mind? I uh, just started reading more in the Bible, and it's like, once you f- once you find someone that you really could bond with, none of that really matters at the end of the day. It's just the love and the aspect of the the marriage principle, the to true say, love. To say like you know that's mine. She she will carry my legacy, my last name. She's a part of the Garcia now. You know what so. do you think the best? Well, you're not married yet, so not yet, not yet. Coming though, maybe next Tuesday. Soon. What do you think the best way to find that other person is? These days, because it's it's way different these days yeah. than I feel like back in the day. Like back in the day, it was way more like you just yeah. say what's up. So I'm, and that was the only way. He's well, in a different generation. I'm, I'm different generation. Yeah, I'm thirty. I'm thirty this year, oh, boys. Oh wow! Happy I'm birthday, early. Thirty this year, Happy boys. Early birthday, brother. Talk. When do you thirty? Wait, to when do you turn thirty? In July. It's all downhill from there. Damn. Just, just kidding. Stop. I'm just kidding. I'm turning twenty one. I'm turning twenty one. I'll get you a cane for your birthday, huh? <laughs> oh, thirty. Wow, that's a whole different. Decade stop, of stop, stop. 30, 30, buddy. Right? How do you? You're 24. Four? 
21, bro. A young buck over there. Man, Three I, different I, I, generations. It's crazy, bro. I feel like social media, though, 21, I'm feeling like, damn, I'm like Old. aging out, Loki. Aging know? out of what? Just like getting older, you know? <laughs> no, no, no. Like, it's like 21's everyone, young, dude, Everyone on social Hell, media, yeah, though, I was like, 21. I know, but it's like you look on social media, and it's like everyone's like so young yeah. for the most part, you know? No, eventually, like... Uh, I mean, I'm he's gonna, on social media. I'm gonna, like an, I'm gonna answer your question. I'm gonna Man, answer your question. Old. Hey, that's why we're cooking him right this now. Is, bro. This is what it is. But thirty in reality, thirty is not old though. Thirty, 30 and you're still young, in your prime. Bro. I'm you're in still prime, in your prime. Bro. I'm still mother sucking second prime. Call him Logan mind. Paul the way he's in his prime. I'm going. <laughs> I'm going. I'm just getting started, literally. But really? um, to answer your, oh, well, co- you've 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 been cooking for a bit though. No, 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 no. like. To answer your question, back then, Oven was on preheat. There was no, there was no slide in the DMs like that, bro. You literally had to walk up to the girl and actually ask her what her name is, or you're in a class and you actually got to sit next to the girl, get bro. to know her, et cetera, et cetera. I, I'm trying to, I'm trying to enroll in school, bro. I feel like school is just, a, it's a nice way, a nice wholesome way to mm. meet a nice lady, and you get to see them. Not in the club, you know. You get to see the real of them when they're studying. They're grinding. They're taking notes. They're wearing Crocs, no makeup, like, hair no tied makeup. up, chilling with tight. no makeup oh, on. Bro. That's like, with the, the hoodie pre- on, the hoodie on, and the sweat with the yeah. university dog. hoodie with Maybe the some Uggs on. Bro. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my. Yeah. you might have to enroll, dude. I'm about to enroll, bro. You're still young, brother. I heard about this thing called semester at sea. Oh, where you take a semester at sea? I saw that on a cruise ship. Yes. What? That, well, and that's... you travel around the world, bro. Ooh, you stop in like twelve different countries, and it's like. You and a, it's a bunch of people from a bunch of different colleges, and they all go on this cruise ship. Not like a crazy big one, but decent big, a couple hundred of you, I think. And then decent big, that's what they call me. <laughs> oh, they don't call me decent big, but uh, <laughs> uh, so then you go on the cruise ship, and then you travel around, and like you're traveling from country to country. You stop in the country, you stay there for a couple of days, then you're back on the boat for a couple of days, then you're in a country for a couple of days, and you just get to see the world. You get to have a good time. It just seems like a great time. That actually sounds even not to meet crazy. someone. Even, even do to it, do it, bro. Yeah, what do the it, heck? man. Live That's it. Enrolled. You got one chance, one I'm life, not one I'm life. Not yeah. It's like it's like thirty grand though. So it's like I might just go on a couple cruises. And stuff, yeah. That's, uh, that's crazy. Yeah, a couple cruises. Oh man, I love cruises. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Let's go. On, let's go on a little vacation together, boys. I mean, after uh, this massive. You're like a chaperone, though. <laughs> after this massive video segments we're about to be filming yeah we need a vacation yes and speaking of segments brothers Wait, speaking of vacation though okay speaking of vacation ladies and gentlemen <coughs> a list just came out about americans least favorite states they visited i want to hear i'm gonna say that one more time so we get a clean cut for tiktok <laughs> oh. All right, so right here we have a list of the top five least favorite states visited by Americans. You guys got to guess them. Take turns. Ready? Top five least, least favorite. favorite states least visited. I'll by go Americans. first. Right. I'll take a wild guess here. I'm gonna go Arkansas. Not on the list. Mm. Oh, it's- Arkansas is nice to visit, bro. Yeah. Uh, sorry to anyone from our. Sorry from everyone. You bro. mean Arkansas? Sorry to anyone who uh, we're gonna guess. Man, no offense. Let me tell you, the most trash state, Maine. Not on the list. Oh, not on the list, brother. That's um, cap. This list is gonna blow your mind. I'm gonna guess. It's probably people who visit. Alabama. It also has to be states that people actually even visit. So maybe no one's ever visited Arkansas. Um, oh, I got one. I'm gonna go Indiana. Not on the list. North Dakota. Not on the list. The fudge? I'm gonna go South Dakota. Not on the list. Oh my god! All right, I'm gonna go uh, California. Number one on the list. Oh! Least favorite state to visit by really? Americans in the U.S. California. You can believe that? Uh, traffic. I love California. Traffic's though. horrible there. Bro, the weather, the scenery, everywhere has the horrible food. traffic. I get weather, it. scenery, food. That's life. That's yeah. all you need in life, really. To vacation, it's one of the. It's great. I would say it's. If Cal- One of my favorites. If California's to. on there. I'm gonna go Florida. Florida is number three on the list. I think they messed. They they reversed this because Florida's great. Florida is great. Phenomenal. Everyone everyone comes here. I'm um, going. Right, I'm, this is reverse. Number order. two, Texas. Yeah, Texas. Yeah. Number, these are just number the top, two. How do you know, bro? They, because these are just the top five are, most popular are, states. They're the most visited states at this point. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll go New York. Number four. I Damn, knew it. Number five, we got to go, mother sucking. What's right below New York? Don't Literally. give them a hint. Don't give them a hint. Literally. Massachusetts? 
That's above. Give it to me, brother. Virginia. Nope, nope, nope. Bro, Virginia and New York is this. Bro, Maine is literally above New York, you clown. Come on, come on. What is right below New York? Literally right below on the list. Connecticut. And physically. Fudging Rhode Island. (laughs) I'm just going to give it to you. New Jersey. Oh, Jersey. I don't know how that made it on the list. Well, they... I yeah. mean, I mean, actually, that's the only one I can. A lot see of you know, a lot of people spend they they live in Jersey. They they uh, visit Jersey so they could take the train to go to New York because it's cheaper. So they t- they go to the fifth worst state to visit the fourth. Yeah, worst. crazy. And uh, everyone is roasting this list in the comments, and it's everyone saying, "Yeah, these are the top five least favorite states to visit because these are the only five that people visit." That's what For I'm real. saying. Like, it's like they're not guessing between the other ones. Like no one's gonna say, "Oh, the least favorite one I visited was North Dakota," because they probably never visited North True. Dakota. Yeah, South Dakota. The only thing I know in South Dakota is the Mount Rushmore. I do want to go see it. I do Wait, go see Mount it. Rushmore is? I thought it's in Virginia. South Dakota, South Dakota buddy. buddy. Virginia, South Dakota, Virginia, Virginia country roads. <laughs> well, since we're on the Virginia. since we're on the topic of of. Uh, Visiting places, uh, you know, I haven't seen the boys in two weeks, and it's because your boy DJ Fab's been traveling. And uh, every time I travel, last time I was on a plane, emergency landing, and it wasn't my favorite. This time, your boy DJ Fab almost had to pay ten thousand dollars in a fine. How? Let me explain. The time that I'm flying in, the, in these planes, it's spring break, and Florida is insane. It is It's one flooded. of the top places to visit, actually, isn't it? <laughs> it's flooded. So, DJ Fab is on It's a- flooded wherever I go, brother. Why is that? Sorry. Yeah, why is that? Yeah, why is that? I think you know why. So, DJ Fab makes it back from uh, Utah is where he was visiting. I was DJing, and I come into Tampa, and Tampa is a little medium-sized airport, but when you put a lot of people, a lot of spring breakers, it looks like a Black Friday sale buying IBP merch and everything is free. Mm-hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, everybody and their mothers there. So I get off the plane and boys, when you get off the plane that high altitude, you come down, your stomach gets a little bubbly. Mm, bubbly. And uh, your boy DJ Fab has that diarrhea. I'm going crazy. I get off the plane instantly. I'm, using, I'm ready to use the restroom. I go massive line. Of the men's restroom. Massive. I'm like, you know what? I'm about to go into the family restroom. Family restroom. You're a family guy. I knock on the door. Family inside. At this point, I got Lincoln Log playing peekaboo in my underwear. (laughs) (laughs) Lincoln Log playing peekaboo. Boys. He loves his childhood childhood games. Boys. So, the only thing that was available. Yes, you guessed it correctly. The woman's restroom was open. DJ Fab could not hold it. I go inside the women's restroom, and it's like only stalls, right? Because the women, they sit down. And uh, I go in. I sit down, take the pants off, take a massive doocy doocy, get out. And I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, do I wash my hands? Do I jeopardize myself? Boom. The lady next to me snitches on the security police. And the security police is waiting for me outside. So I'm already walking outside. They grab me. They say, sir, come with me. I said, I'm, I'm going to jail. Say, I'm not a sir. <laughs> I'm not a sir. Yeah, yeah I should have said for that. For real, bro. I, you can say sir. that nowadays. You should have just said, S- who, who's sir? <laughs> I'm she, her. Dude, and, uh, you could actually reverse on them and got them in trouble for misgender. No, actually, I wasn't yeah. thinking. I was just more nervous on the fact that it was like a, a Of course you're nervous. You're a woman, you know? You know, so he's talking to me. He's like, I'm going to have to write you a citation of... Uh, a fine. And I was like, wait, why? And in my mind, I'm thinking like, oh, I'm in the woman's restroom. Even though in the household, everybody shares the same, you know what I'm saying? They, show the, they share the same thing. Yeah, so it's I don't it's know different if, when you're in public. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if that makes it okay. You know, but family, you know, it's a different. I guess, right? So there's, there's, normally, there's only one bathroom. It's not like there's a, your whole oh, family. It's like going inside. in your refrigerator or going to a, like a refrigerator or going to a food place and just eating out of it and being like, at home, I just eat it. <laughs> You're right. So we're talking. He's like, yeah, that's a $10,000 uh, $10, fine here in Florida. That's crazy. You're not allowed to do that. And in my mind, it's like, man, $10,000 or poop on yourself? Have you ever pooped I, on I'll yourself? I'd probably poop my pants instead of paying ten grand. Yeah, definitely. Have you ever pooped on yourself for real? Yeah, you have. 
Yeah, well, pooped on yourself or pooped your pants? Pooped your pants. No, I I pooped. I tried to fart in my little brother's face when he was doing yoga one time, and I pooped on myself. Okay, but never like you couldn't hold it and it was no 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 that's op. You co- I, you come close though. I would yeah this this following week ten thousand dollars I was ready to take that out. So what ended up happening? He gave me a warning and uh, he just said, "Hey man, just don't do it again." Because I told him the story and he probably has never heard a story like that. Like you're 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 sir. I couldn't hold the poop in. Look at the line. This is insane. I, I didn't want to do to myself. What did you eat that morning? Man, uh, so I don't even want to get into that story. What? No, let's hear it. Because I want to know what not to eat mm-hmm. All right. before I go on a plane. This is, this, is le- this is leading into another crazy story, man. I'll tell you, I'm done flying for a while. I'm in Utah on my way back. Your boy DJ <laughs> Fab treats himself to a nice first class flight. Okay. I've never flew first class before, man. It was also, it was dope. It was cool. Like, everybody sit there and everybody's walking past you and they're like, damn, look at this guy. I felt like a boss. I don't know why I felt like that because I usually don't like that feeling. Was it hitting the ground when you were walking through? Sorry. (laughs) (laughs) Well, it's like I'm sitting down, the seat, man, I'm spread wide, like the arm, da da da, because it's a two seater instead of a three seater. And uh, I'm sitting down, there's there's this guy next to me and I'm just not talking to him, sitting here. And uh, we get on, and the ladies, the ladies like, "Hey, would you like to drink, Mr. Garcia?" I said, "Dang, Mr. Garcia!" She gives me a drink in a glass cup. I'm like, "Wow, I've never had water in a glass little thingy before." I'm going crazy. Uh, then they give us food, right? And this is going to lead to the story. But I want to tell you this first story before the guy that's sitting next to me. He's talking to me. Say, "Hey, uh, what's up, young buck? What are you doing?" Older guy, young guy, like 55. Older guy, Older young guy. guy. <laughs> older yes. guy, young guy. He just, <laughs> he just looked young, you know, but he was like 55. He's an older guy, but young at heart. You know when bald headed people, bald headed people look young? Like they look like they, like David Goggins looks like he's okay. 40. Older guy, younger looking. Yeah, yeah. Like okay. That's how you would say it. So I'm saying, he's like, young buck, what, what brings you here, man? Da, da, da. Oh, I'm DJ, blah, blah, blah. Talking to him. He's like, yeah, man, I, I, I'm a, a, a medical specialist in uh, California. Boom, 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 we're talking, we're talking, we're talking. He said, yeah, man, I'm, I was like, do you live here in Tampa? He was like, uh, I, I'm actually from Lakeland, and that's my hometown. Mm. And I was like, oh, Lakeland? I live in Lakeland too, bro. He's like, yeah, uh, you know, all my kids there, everything, blah, blah, blah. He was like, yeah, I got two daughters. And I'm explaining, I'm like, yeah, man, what do, what do your daughters look like? And, like, he shows me, he's like, oh, that's your daughter. I'm like, no. 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 He shows me a picture of his daughter. <laughs> he shows me a picture of his daughter. And his, oh, boys. Oh, boys. He shows me a picture of his daughter. And I, I'm, I'm, just, I just, I'm just not even going to get into that detail. Just know that. Uh, <laughs> you can't lead a whole story. Bro, you have you're to like, give us the ending, bro. You're literally like leading a horse to water and at the last second being like, no. Nope, bro, he shows today. me his daughter and his daughter was one of the girls that I used to mess around with in high school. Like she used to sneak out a whole bunch of craziness, bro. And like in my mind, I didn't want to tell him. I like, it's like, what do you, you can't, what do you say? Yeah, that's an awkward plan. What do you right? say? What did you say? I couldn't say nothing. You said, oh. Yeah, just play it off. That's all I did. She's a, she's a makeup artist. She does a makeup for Jennifer Hudson and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, she's doing big things. Wow. She, was she doing used big to do big things, things back, back in the day. day. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the whole plane ride in my mind, I'm like, damn, bro. I used to mess around with this guy's daughter. And as a parent, it's like, bro, if my daughter. <sighs> Gay son or thought daughter, huh? Crazy. But then let Which me get one? to the diarrhea oh, story. Okay, 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 my bad. Diarrhea story I here. I want to hear your answer on that, though. <clears throat> So uh, in first class, they feed you. They give you food. And it was breakfast time. So she, she's like, uh, you know, we have a fruit cup or you could get a breakfast enchilada. And the breakfast enchilada is the way DJ Fab went. I never had it before. It came with fruit, toast. You uh, can get a fruit cup or a breakfast enchilada. I got the breakfast enchilada. Came with fruit. <laughs> but it, it came with fruit. The fruit club. Also, the, the fruit cup came with the breakfast enchilada. No, no, no. The fruit club was just only like fruit. For real. It was, like, uh, it was just a cup of fruit. But I was like, yo, what? enchilada, first class. Let me go. I had silver, silverware. I was going crazy. I was eating it. Ginger ale. All of a sudden, my they stomach. They have ginger ale in the back, too. 
But not in the glass, brother, with glass, ice. Yeah, you're right. Not in the glass. You have ice in You're the getting it in the can. Well, I've been on a private jet before, so. Yeah, so you know. And then no, my, they, stomach, they my stomach starts hurting, and uh, all I know is I'll never eat plain food ever again. Because uh, that leads to almost me getting a $10,000 fine. But why didn't you go to the bathroom before you, you didn't think about that? I don't like getting up on the plane, bro. Oh. I, but if you're in first class, you could get up. Gay sign or thought, daughter. Let's take it back. Yeah, take <laughs> it. He's on this topic. I, think I just want to hear it. It's, like, it's a very... It's a I was about to say something crazy. I'm glad I didn't say it. That's a good question. I'm bro. glad I didn't say it. I think I'm a going... gay thought son? No, gay thought daughter. That's crazy. I was about to say something crazy, bro. Say it, bro. I can't. It was like an in-the-moment thing. If I said it, it would have been like, oh, okay. DJ I was about to say, oh, bro. Just say it. Say it. I think, yeah. I well, because, ah, oh, no, I can't even say I it. I need to hear this. No, say, say it's what like leading a horse through the water and not giving a water. I was going to say something that's so crazy, crazy. I, was, but I can't say it. All right, well, DJ Fab, <laughs> I can't say this it. is so mean, but DJ Fab, Fab has a daughter and a son, so instantly I'm like, oh, he already has both. <laughs> I, would nev- I would never say that, though. <coughs> Obviously, bro. No, please. Bro, his daughter's like four. No, bro. I know, I know. No, bro. That's why I didn't say it. Like no. One. That's why I didn't say it. Wow. That's wow, bro. But true that's colors. What, that's, that's true colors. Want. True colors. Yeah. Well, bro, this is what I was we have a conversation. To your- Everyone thinks the same. We just filter ourselves out. Who Depends thinks how- the same? I was not thinking that no. he had a gay son and a thought daughter, bro. <laughs> I mean, maybe the son, you never know. Are, do you think you're born? Stop. Bro, you're mad. I'm giving you a realistic situation. No, bro. Him, bro. If, if my son comes out gay. <sighs> I'm sorry. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, nothing wrong saying, with that. Nothing wrong with that. I just. I, I, I know. I'm just saying I'm sorry, like. If what I said what affected think, the that's future. What, apologize to his family that's right what now, you bro. Look at that bro. camera and yeah. apologize to his... Tell Shannon you're sorry. Shannon. Young tell. Kyrie. I'm sorry, brother. What about what about the girl, yeah, too? Mia. Yeah, tell Mia you're sorry, well, too. Well, bro, I, I, Brad, tell boy, you forced my hand. I didn't... Bro, tell me you haven't... Bro. Who thinks of that? I didn't force you to think about it. It's just that? like instantly when he said I was, uh, you have two kids, I'm like, oh. <laughs> I'm thinking like sketch, bro. Chill, okay? Obviously not. All right, so answer the question. But answer the question. But you can actually answer. You could, I don't have kids, so I don't. I Bro, could. you can answer the Bro, question. You All you answer. have to say is which one would you rather have? Yeah. Would oh, you want you a boyfriend? I don't have a kid. I can't answer. Would you want a boyfriend or a girlfriend? I'll take a girlfriend for sure. Would you rather have a, uh, would you rather have a Ferrari or a Lamborghini? Oh, you don't have either. Can't answer the question. <laughs> great point. Great point. I'm going gay son, though. I don't want to know that my daughter is getting ran through a football team, you mean soccer. You're, you're, oh, yeah, yeah, daughter. Bro. So, gay, yeah, son, okay. gay son all day. Yeah. Because I can, I can live with that. You know what I'm saying? I like gay people. Thought daughter makes you feel like maybe you should have done better. Yeah. It's like, man, you know? Yeah, you, you did gotta something You think wrong. about that. Bro, <laughs> football team, stop, soccer stop, team. Bro. Any team, bro. Any team. Special teams. Special teams, special players. <laughs> what about you, Winnett? Yeah, what about you? I'll go same. You already have both, huh? Oh, these nuts in your mouth. <laughs> yes, but something that we do both have. Actually, this is a special one today. Ooh. Nicholas, I think you should pass it over to Sketch. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we are proud to announce the It Is What It Is podcast has finally found a sponsor after nearly 79 episodes, maybe 78. I'm not sure. We're doing so many, I've lost count. But we finally found a sponsor and uh, we have the one and only Mr. Sketch here to give you the rundown. What's up, brothers? Today, we have the first official sponsor of the It Is What It Is podcast. Let's get a round of applause. <laughs> round of applause, everybody. Yes. Yes. Stay blessed. Stay blessed. Never stressed. Always blessed. First sponsor, we have to give a big time shout out to Flex Pro Meals. How do you always think I stay this big? Come on now. All right, um, if you're struggling to find time or energy to meal prep or simply bored with your current meal options, Flex Pro Meals has a solution, brother. Say goodbye to hours of cooking and meal prep with their pre-portioned flash-frozen meals that are ready to heat and ready to eat. Ooh. Yes, brother. Ready to heat, ready to eat. Meat on meat. Meat on meat, meat on meat. And the best part, these gourmet handcrafted recipes are tailored specifically to your needs and delivered right to your doorstep. Flex Pro Meals offers 35 delicious macro balanced meal options, including high protein, low carb, keto, and gluten free options. Mm. You can even mix and match, just like you mix and match these nuts in your mouth, brother. Mm. Tuesday, Tuesday. Um, also, with their 
Buy the pound options. You can choose your favorite proteins, carbs, and veggies, plus satisfy a sweet tooth with one of their eight power treat options. Ooh. You have options, brother. Just like me, whenever I go anywhere, options I have. Shipping to all 50 states in the United States, including the five worst we mentioned earlier. Mm. I mean, we live in Florida. So Flex Pro Meals makes it healthy eating hassle-free. Let me say that again. Flex Pro Meals makes eating healthy hassle-free. Mm. And with our special offer for the boys, mm. a special offer, you get up to 40% off. No, not up to. You get 40% off your Ooh. first order with code IBP. Mm-hmm. There's never been a better time to try it than right now. Head over to Flex Pro Meals. Dot com and start enjoying your delicious, healthy meals. Flex Pro. Without any work. <clears throat> I'm not going to lie. We got them in. Flex Pro. And, bro, you got, this is actually being serious. We're always on the go. We're always moving. You guys know we're working out. Come on, bro. Look at looking, these. Looking lean. I hate cooking, bro. Being honest, I hate cooking. But Flex Pro meals, you just pop it in the microwave. And they're and you're getting... Sometimes you, sac- sometimes you sacrifice the time. You're like, I want some convenience. But then you don't get the good... Healthy protein, the macros, all that. They got it right here. Pop in the microwave, two, two, three minutes, and boom. Flex, bro. You got all the options. I po- I personally like the buffalo chicken pizza. Flex, bro. I mean, t- when can you get a protein buffalo chicken pizza, buddy? I don't even know. Flex, bro. But, uh, yes, ladies and gentlemen, the link will be right there in the top of the description. Mm-hmm. And uh, we actually have, we have one more sponsor, one more link. Wait, wait, wait. Before we go into the next one, I have oh, to say okay. this. If you support the boys, if you support the brothers, Let's bro. then click that link in the top of the description. Use our code. Use code IBP because, uh, man, this is our first one, and we want to do great. We want to do great things, brother. Flex and bro. it, it's, a, it's a win-win-win. It's we would win-win. only promote things. We, we've denied a lot of promotions before. That's mm-hmm. why this is the first one. Tuesday, Tuesday. But uh, we've, we've, we've denied a lot of them because this one is one we actually believe in Flex bro. because they give you good food. It's a win-win, convenience, efficiency. And if you support the brothers, support the brothers by using our code because uh, then they'll continue to sponsor. And you know, We just want y'all to be great. Save time. Eat great. Flex, bro. Yes. We're all pros at flexing. You can too. Code IBP. All right. <laughs> yes, 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 brother. And, and I also more? wanted to say there's also one link in the top of the description. Your boy, Backdrop of music. Yes. Just dropped a brand new song, Bad Bluffing. The link will be right down below Flex Pro, Flex Pro. Meals. Click it. Check it out. Let's go, baby. I can't, I can't even lie. What, maybe my favorite song NCK has dropped. I, I played it for my friends yeah. when I'm driving around. I don't even tell them it's you. And they're like, yo, what's this song? It's, fine, like, it's bro. my brother. Let's go, brother. It's, it's a great vibe. It's no, a, it's, a, it's good. It's a... No, no, I was bag bluffing. Yeah. Thank you, boys. Thank you, yeah, boys. Yeah, no, I can't lie. You're the more you, the more, the more music you try, the more, the better you get. Yeah, you're on that exponential wave right now. Every song I'm gets ready. better. Boys, I've been waiting for this moment. Please, can you can you just throw it over my way, please? He's had a hiatus, but the man returns <coughs> yes. with DJ Fabuloso's fun fact of the week. We we. Ah, oh, ladies and gentlemen, I've been, ah, oh, man, it's good. Ah, oh, it's so good. Ah, oh, oh, I've been, ah, oh, ah, oh. I've missed it. I, I, it's been a couple of weeks. I haven't said the fun fact of the week. Week. But this time, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I, I'm bringing it back to the diarrhea. Sorry if you're eating, because, you know, you know, most of you guys watch this when you're eating. But today, you guys must stop what you're doing. Here you go. This one's actually for One Hit Rick. One Hit Rick. What's the longest time... Uh, you ever been constipated? Uh, I don't have a problem with that. I, I, I can go. Nah, bro. You, you were camping one time. I remember. You were camping one time with IBD, I think. You, How do you remember this? I don't know. Oh, I you just, weren't even there, huh? I heard the stories. I heard the rumors. Uh-oh. They go around town, buddy. Word travels quick around All these right. parts, okay? How's, how long? Yeah. Bro, you thought I don't you, know. I think you had almost went to the hospital because you're like, dude, it's so, it's, uh, it's hard. It's oh, hard. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's because... Because I was holding, uh, I don't know, a couple hours. Well, all I can say is that in 2013, a lady holds the record for the amount of days for being constipated. Ladies and gentlemen, those days equivalent to 45 solid days of being constipated. In 2013, a 28-year-old woman from India had to have surgery to remove a football-sized poop. Football? 
Football size. That doesn't even sound that crazy, though. Football size? I'm kidding. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. What? N- what kind of, how big the football? Brother, Pee-wee or NFL? No, this is NFL, my G. And just know, uh, this was considered an extreme constipation, and uh, she was starting to get spinal damage. <laughs> That's how massive no. it was. Spinal damage from a poop. Yes. She Pretty was big, uh, huh? She was forced to take laxatives and uh, a lot more stuff to help her poop. But imagine being constipated for 45 days and having <coughs> the Guinness World Record. Like, yo, what do you do? Oh, I have the Guinness World Record for being constipated. I don't know if that's what she does for a living. But imagine having that record. <laughs> what do you do? She, she couldn't that's take a, a good conversation right starter. What, what, what was she eating that we don't know. made her not be able to poop? I don't have that much information. Dude, I, I, how often do you guys go? Because I'm going to say my answer, and you guys, you, DJ Fab, I know this guy's like, he goes rarely, you know? I'm a couple times a day. I realize. I, I wake up, poo. Go to bed. Yeah, I'm up twice a day. I'm At least once. Yeah. Like, I, I pooped right before this podcast. How about you? Uh, I've been twice. just, I've been, I haven't been, I've been eating the last week and a half. I've been eating very horrible. So, I haven't pooped <laughs> in six days. Wait, so when you eat horrible, you don't go as much? Yeah. When you're, when you're healthy, bro, you're supposed to, your body, like, turns into, like, a system and flushes everything out. Yeah. So I guess I go like protein is supposed to make you poop mm-hmm. a lot. Protein is supposed to make you look poop a lot. Oh, it does. That's why I poop so much. Yeah, dude. But I've been eating trash, so I'm still constipated. Six days going for that record. Constipated, but the other day, nearly he uh, he had to go to the bathroom so bad that he nearly got a ten thousand dollar fine going to the wrong bathroom. It's a six. Your contradiction. You're walking contradiction, brother. It's six days from now, brothers. I've been gone for how long? Two weeks. How many weeks? All right, that was some big news, but uh, we got some more big. News. <laughs> mm, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Emphasis on the word big. Okay. Big news. Big news, brother. <laughs> Did you call Lizzo? Lizzo announces she's quitting due to constant criticism. Is that real? Criticism of what? Lizzo announced she's stepping back from social media due to relentless criticism about her appearance and personality. On Chris on Instagram, she wrote. I'm starting to feel like the world doesn't want me in it. I'm getting tired of putting up Lizzo. with being dragged by everyone in my life and on the internet. Lizzo, it's okay. Hey. I mean, probably because like what I just did there, saying big news. But I mean, like, you know. But Lizzo, it's the hey, Lizzo, it's okay. <coughs> it's the she, internet. I'm not even going to lie. No, I can't say it. I was going to say she's bigger than I thought. I'm not I, I didn't know how big we're not trying to be mean, but also like mean, for health purposes. For health purposes, that's why. See, right. that's what the problem with this generation. You can't say anything. What? What? That? Don't. Di- if you can't, dish it. Dish dish it. No pun intended. She's eating a lot of dishes. Um, <laughs> if you can't dish it, if you dish it, you got to be able to take it. So if you're yeah. like, bro, I hate those are the worst people that are always dishing, dishing, dishing. Is she? A, does she like to dish? I don't know if she dish dishes. She likes dishes. But no, does she roast? I don't know. I don't know. But also, like, hey, bro, that's also how you got bit. That's how you got <laughs> fudge. <laughs> fudge. That's how she got big. I can't cap. You're going crazy. I, I don't even mean to be. You're going crazy. But like, it's also like, rock the fact. Like, it's also like if someone made fun of me and they were like, "Can you even see, brother?" I'm like, "Yeah, my eyes are wide open. I'm Asian, though." Like, I just like when you when you eat when you. Abs- but there comes a point where it's just eat it. There's a point. There's a point where it's unhealthy, though. <coughs> yes, it's, it's not unhealthy healthy. to be of such stature and size. Yes, bro. What if she's like just if big you were boned and she's just not big she's bone, healthy. bro? Those are some big bones, buddy. Uh, uh, sorry, bro. She's really not big. Look up. Pull up a photo, dude. Bro. I just looked at a picture. She's not big. That's she could play for the for the NFL, bro. What's that song? Do you know how New tall man she is, on bro? The Minnesota Six, Vikings. She's big, bro. New man on the Minnesota Vikings. That's her lyric. She's, she's actually. I'm not gonna lie. The picture you just showed me. She kind of looking nice. This, bro. <laughs> no, not that dude, one. Fall. Like she. Like her image is like. Her image is big, right? But there's nothing wrong with it. She's not. She's five ten. That's big for a female. That's massive. Yeah, lo- but oh, five ten three oh eight is not healthy, bro. Dude, five ten three oh eight for a male. Is You're more five ten, bro. How big are you? How big are you? How much you weigh? How much you weigh? I'm, I'm How much five you weigh? eleven. I'm five eleven. No one's 5'11". How, how is no one five eleven? You're either he's six foot or you're not. He's honest. I'm, all right, all right, five eleven. All, right. all right, you're the same height as Lizzo. How much do you weigh? 220. 220. Add 85 pounds to you right but now. hear me out. Hear me out. Now hear me out. You love to defend. Lizzo is a 
certified platinum artist. Okay, cool. Hear me out. No one's talking what about What did it. we talk about in the beginning hear of me, this episode? Hear me health out, Health is number one My priority. Point. This is how health you have so nothing. So tell me, why would Lizzo not want to be healthy? She probably does. But maybe she loves a... Why would Lizzo... Okay, go. My it. point, why would Lizzo... She... Hot topic here. That's her image. That is her image, right? <laughs> She's uh, aiming to target the, the... No one... There's no big models. There's no big... People that re- like that represent the mother sucking exactly. big people. So maybe, so, what, you're, what maybe saying, that's why she doesn't want to be in shape. Is that point, what you're saying? Yes, it's like she could be in shape, and the internet she can easily click off and just say, "Yo, you think she's walking?" And people are like, "Damn, girl, you're big in person." No, no way. No one's saying that. It's yeah, all yeah, the internet. Gets, sometimes though, she can do, bro. You're you're strong enough in your mindset to click off the internet, and if you want to lose weight, you can lose weight. So like to me, Lizzo, shut up. And do something about it. That's she got some simple. hits. Uh, she got some hits. Nah, nah, is a real crowd uh, pleaser. Right. No, that's Sway Lee. Oh. <laughs> She's a crowd pleaser, though. I love you, Lizzo. So that's my thing. She has millions of dollars. Why wouldn't she spend money on her health? She, Why? Business. Yes, it's a brand. She is a brand. Well, I mean, she's trying behind the scenes. Bro, 308 is actually insane. I think she, get, she got a lot of hate because of that controversy where one of her dancers was like eating, eating some food. And she was like roasting yes. her being fat. That's oh. what I don't like when you when people that they're always dishing, but they can't take. Like like me. If I'm roasting all y'all and then DJ Fab comes with something and I go, huh? Kiss it. Hey man. That's the worst kind of person to be around. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like they're punching you and then you throw a jab back and then they're like, hey man, why you hit me? But I don't have nothing against her. I actually no. do I like her a lot. Like, man. Let's go on a date. Have you been on any dates, bro? No, I haven't been on any dates, but Yo, speaking... I do want to say something while we continue on, because uh, I, you know, obviously we follow each other on social media, and y'all boys have been eating so much sushi that... I have sushi in my fridge right now. I, I don't know how you night. guys... Listen, there's a such thing as mercury poisoning, all right? Eat as much sushi as you want, but at least two to three <laughs> times a week, please. <coughs> Because eating so much could actually get you sick. And but it's okay because I eat Flex Pro meals when I'm not eating sushi. And yes. Uh, I, just, I, just, I just seen y'all going crazy. And I just like, yo, I'm going to just tell my brothers, like, you can die from that, bro. And you could die from a lot of stuff. But I'd rather you guys. <laughs> you can also die from being 308. <laughs> I just want to tell y'all. Like, Dude, heart disease is like one of the number one causes. No, but thank yeah. you for watching out for us. I'm just making sure. Yeah, also, you. chill out on those uh, plain enchiladas, buddy. <laughs> I'm done. I, I'm not eating anymore. <laughs> no, I'll, but I definitely eat a lot of fish. A lot of mercury in that. No, yeah. But like, Especially sushi, sushi. But sushi overall, like, it's a pleasure meal. Mm-hmm. And if you really break it down, it's like one of the healthiest, like, indulgences that you could have. And there's no way. Because it's like fish and rice. And there's yeah. no way you guys are not eating it without soy sauce. Yeah, okay. I don't use soy sauce. What do you use? A little bit of wasabi. People act like sodium's bad. If you have too much sodium, but dude... Actually, sodium is good well, for you. Well, you're active, bro. If you're not active, that's the problem. I am active. <laughs> like, you got to be active. Go to the gym. Go outside. Get some vitamin D. Go hoop. Go. You got to sweat. Like, I get, I got that all the time. Like, bro, you eat all the sodium, all the sodium. Even energy drinks, hella sodium. Sodium. Bro, yeah, but I'm... I have high blood pressure. I'm too much out. sodium, not good. You, he does. He does. You have yeah. high blood pressure he at does, 21? Yes, bro. He's always stressed, bro. Why are you stressed? The woman, the woman stressed uh, him out. No, bro. It's not woman, bro. Sounds like it's That's affecting you right now. I don't know. I don't know what it is. That's no doctor told you anything. Well, there's so many. Different it's a lot of catch up. That was <sighs> a big problem, bro. Th- no, no, there's no, so th- many different possible causes for high blood pressure. Yeah, it's hard for they can't be like. Yeah, this is why and you're so young, bro. You know? Well, he's been grinding f- from a young age. You know, high high stress situations. Yeah. It might be stress, but I it could be. You get dealt with your brother your whole life. I, oh yeah, th- th- I, I think bro, that's a big part of it. Once I joined IBP, once I joined IBP, so? yes, I'm being yeah, honest, bro. Dang, bro, bro, you gotta take it easy. Seven, seven gray hairs ever since I joined you, IBP. Bro. Well, ever since I've known Ricky, seven gray oh. hairs on the right side of my head. Most stressful human being I've ever met in my entire life. Like crazy. Like I think it's definitely part of it. Like being honest. yeah, bro. Like sometimes, bro, you like you be man, you be like OD. I be like Ricky, bro. Like I used to be. Nope. Anyways, anyways, Dang. no, definitely, bro. But I, but actually, I'm not nearly as stressed out now, and uh, we'll talk about that very soon. That's good. I feel like you can tell, bro. 
Can you tell him how I am? Yes, bro. bro definitely, I'm, bro. bro. You talk about it like every day. Yes. You're like, dude, oh. Yeah, but we haven't talked about it on the pod. I know. I'm talking about real life, though. That's it's good. Real life. Oh, yeah, bro. That was a big situation. Uh, it was a crazy. Someone asked me about it in the street the other because, day. Because, actually, you did know me before that, and I was I way did. less stressful. I know. I've Wouldn't seen, you say? I've seen three forms of Ricky Ireland. One, when you're like, you know, when Jake Paul says I'm dialed, that is the first stage that I saw you in, mm. where you and your brothers were, you and your bro were like locked in. Second stage, brother was hypnotized. I don't even know who you were. You were just gone. Like, you were just... Dr- like drifting away, it's like drifting a, a, slowly. Yeah, you. That was you. It's drifting slowly. And then the third form is like the best combination. It's like, right? Like both. And I'm like, it's great. It's like you're Super Saiyan three, and that was like the coolest form. But it, the the form doesn't last long. Oh, bro, I last long. <laughs> Trust me, brother. We'll see how long this lasts. I like it. I'm not saying I don't. Appreciate it while it's here. Uh, oh, you know? I, bro, I appreciated all three forms. Yeah, but there's more that you. There's some that you liked a little more than others. Uh, I probably like this form the best. You're more open. And you communicate more. Oh, back. You suck yeah, so, at yeah. communicating. Bro. Oh, I was so bad. My gosh, bro. But I realized. I realized why. But as long as you know. Bro, I know. Trust me. And I'm, I appreciate the communication. Now. Don't worry. This, is, this might not make a lot of sense to you guys watching home. You're like, what are they talking I about? I can't. Uh, you could probably guess. I can't believe but how we'll much it affected me. I can't believe how much it affected me. Yeah. But it's. It, but so, I can now. But also, like, you have the lowest. The lower you go, the mm-hmm. higher you bounce back. And I'm a bouncer now. <laughs> this is why Nick has a high blood pressure. That, that is right there. It's perfect. I do feel bad for him sometimes. He has to deal with me, and then also you, when you talk, sometimes you don't make any sense. You've been making a lot of sense recently, though. <coughs> so DJ Fab? No, oh, Fab doesn't stress me out, bro. I've been catching. I've been catching. Tuesday. But also, we've worked, we've worked together since we were little, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I, could, I could go both ways. Both of us stress each other out. I mean, anyone you work with, you're, you're going to stress out a little bit, but for those couple of sure, years. Sure. But can't cap. Also, we have different ideas sometimes. I can't cap. I think the, the brotherhood, to the, the be able to be... Brothers and run a successful business. For you guys not to infuse those and and tremble and break the business, I think I gotta applaud you guys for that. And to sometimes still have good times. Yeah. Like hang. Like sometimes we we actually just hang out. Like I cool. I'm not gonna lie. Like the the brothers only podcast, probably one of my favorite. I think it's like you can see the two brothers going, going feeding off each other's energy, laughing. Just going back and forth, and I was like, I really appreciate it, and I think you guys needed that. So, low key, low key, glad it wasn't here. Low key, uh, me too. Might have it was, to take a, you it was off, a really man. good time. Actually, whoa, whoa, whoa. Might have to take wait, wait, wait. but it is a good thing to have. Um, I feel like it was a big, it honestly, how? Yeah, I don't know what I'm saying. I'll talk about it more. Yo, fudge all that. When you guys are watching this, we're filming this during the time where the world is shutting down. Chick Fil A closing. School's not being in session. We you we just recently had an eclipse, solar eclipse, and uh, NCK is our weatherologist, our astrology NASA specialist. We're gonna send it over to him. NCK, please take it away. <sighs> Live uh, on the scene. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, there was a solar eclipse on Monday, April eighth. Um, it hasn't happened yet, yet for I, us in real life. I haven't walked in front of it yet. So. Yeah, but I'm sure it was crazy. It hasn't happened yet, bro. What do you want me to say? So, something, something happened. There's a guy oh, that's no, witnessing Tell him about the, the guy. Okay, okay. Last solar eclipse, someone actually did go blind. So, uh, I mean, the solar eclipse has already happened, so I don't know how good this information is for you. But maybe for the next solar eclipse, y'all can be ready. Be careful because it might look like the sun isn't bright, but little do you know, you're staring right at the sun still, even when there is that solar eclipse. So exposing your eyes to the sun without proper eye protection during a solar eclipse can cause eclipse blindness or retinal burns, also known as solar retinopathy. This exposure to the light can cause damage or even destroy cells in the retina and the back of the eye that transmit what you see to your brain. So, uh, I mean, it's too late now for this solar eclipse, but maybe in like 20 years, hopefully you guys remember that information, eh? Crazy. It's, it's insane that the <coughs> world is shutting down for nature, science. 
Is it shutting down? What shut down? Bro, Chick Fil A shut down. Chick Fil A is already shut down one day out of the week already. Yeah, but for a solar eclipse. Yeah, bro. We got to go get the glasses. Where do we get the glasses at? Yeah, I think we just look at it. Who lasts the stare at sun? Ooh. <clears throat> Dude, yeah? parentheses oh. loser goes. Oh, parentheses, yeah. loser goes blind. Yep. Fab has experience with that, almost. Yeah, mom? Yeah, these boys are insane. They want to stare at the Last sun. Last to leave. Mom. Last yeah. to stop staring at sun. Ricky is writing the idea down in his notes. That yes, means I am. it is a probability that this Indeed, I am. video can <laughs> be done. I, uh, I think I'm quitting. I think I'm quitting. I already went blind once. Do I want to go blind again? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. All right. Love you, mom. See you later. Oh, tell them? Okay. Uh, my mom would like you guys to smash the like button right now. All right. Thank you. Yeah, we're doing that one. Let's go from that right now. I can't do that. Dang, I wish we could, though. Well, boys, it's been a great time. I missed you. It's been a great time. Uh, this is one more thing that I do want to touch on. Bronny James declares for the NBA draft. Oh, yeah. A lot of people in the comments <sighs> are uh, cooking him, though, saying, but he's not that good. Uh... So, I don't know. Bronny James is actually trash. If it wasn't for his dad, he wouldn't even be nowhere near relevant. He would probably be overseas. Triple A. N- nowhere near. Garbage. But I do respect that he's going f- for it. And imagine seeing a um, father-son duo. I'm hyped, bro. And I can't hate, you know? Dude, if they played on the same team, both on the Lakers, dude, that would be... Has it ever happened before in the NBA? No. No. Because no, but there's been brothers... It's been brothers. But never before a father-son duo because no one's ever had the longevity of LeBron while also having a kid. He's still good, though, bro. No, LeBron's... No, I mean, I mean, like, Bronny. Bronny's still, like, no, good. No, Bronny is not. He's not, he's not. He's not good. He's not. He's not? Bro, I don't, no. I don't, I don't know. I don't really he averages, follow. like, four, three, bro, and two. off the bench, he's... Bro, Ricky's dropping more points on Bronny, bro. All right, don't disrespect him like that. Don't disrespect me. Dropped like him that. way more than him. Um, Just kidding. But, um... I don't know. He's no, bro. I, I'm excited though. I have no hate. Dude. I I would like for LeBron to complete his legacy. Play with that's his kid. What he wants. I think oh, imagine I'm winning an NBA championship with your son. Crazy. I do want to see it, and I think he goes. Do you think he gets drafted? Yes. It's Bronny he's James. He's because James. Because at the end of the day, it's a business, bro. LeBron James. How many jerseys son. does he sell? I'm buying the jersey. Yeah, and he signed with Faze, so he has all that people on the right side on Faze, and then. People hate, but that's how the world goes. It's all about who you know, what you know. Sometimes Facts. you're born into it. Can't hate on a can't hate on him. His dad for putting that work for I him. Can't can't hate. LeBron. He, set, he set the stage. I think his uh, younger brother is better than Bronny, though. Uh, you think uh, Bryce? Bryce is way better. I think Bryce didn't is Bryce better. get really tall randomly. Yeah, yeah, he grew. Like he was super short with the six glasses. four, six four, six five. I think. Yeah, Bronny is what six three. Yeah, he's tall. But his uh, Bryce is way taller. Well, Bryce, I man, is Isn't taller, Bryce, yeah. like, s- more, yeah. It's crazy how they just, boom. I want to hoop now. Shout out to Caitlin Clark. Uh, she's not getting a national championship, but she will always put a staple in uh, NCAA double women's basketball. Wait, isn't, the, isn't the championship game tonight for the men's, March Madness? For men's, yes. It's tonight. UConn versus... Uh, NC, oh, not NC State, they lost. Purdue? Purdue. I got UConn. Give me Purdue. I'm going you Purdue. All right, you guys at home, you guys already know who won by now. But um, yeah, boys. What's up? Yeah, it's been a great time. A great time. It's been a pleasure talking to you guys. Uh, I'm gonna go heat up my Flex Pro right now. Code um, IBP. Code IBP. Forty percent off your first meal, and uh, subscribe. Almost at 200k. Been yes. saying that for a minute, but let's actually hit it. See you guys next Thursday. Thursday. DJ Fab just pulled his pants down and mooned. I wish you guys could see that. Wow, that was a different kind of solar eclipse. I wish I didn't see that.